taking the right to read and think freely. And I tell you, we have grown. We started with Zachary's bookstore and about seven or eight of us doing the, oh, that was fun. <laughs> now that I deafened you, we'll continue. We started there and seven or eight of my students would come with me and we'd read from banned books all night. That's why this is called a vigil, if that's what they called it. And it was a 24 hour deal and different groups came in and read from bad books and then their insurance heard about it. And that was that, that the insurance said no way. But when we were in there, berries were right beside us and they'd bring us coffee and hot bagels in the middle of the night around three. And then when it was all over, I would take my student crew to breakfast and then we'd all go do our day. Some days I'd go teach. And that's how we started and then we came to campus and it was a challenge. The first few years it was really a challenge to get it going. But as you can see it's grown over the years and today we have all kinds of support campus. This is my chair, Ben Myers, and the communication department gave us money for books. They're buying pizza. We got all kinds of support from the office. Karen Price has been working on stuff with me for three weeks. Lisa Bowman, our advisor, put the stickers in all the books. And Fatima Shouse, Simon helped me get these lovely bags which we'll be giving one away after Ben is done speaking. So we are very blessed. I'm very blessed to be in the communication department because they are very supportive yeah. and it's made a big difference. So I'm glad you're here, you know, small audience, that's good. And Ben, do you want the mic? Um, whatever you think, Ben.